Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands with a YouTube video for Hey Little Magpie. This month I'm working with the Cocoa Vanilla Studio Daydream. Uh, I absolutely love this range and um, I decided I'd make a layout using some of the journaling cards from the Cut Apart sheet. Here I am just trimming my photos. I've picked four small photos um, to go on this page, all taken over this summer. The background paper that you see there is Sweet Serenity. Uh, it's beautiful uh, paper with so much detail, perfect for a background. To be honest, I didn't really want to cut it up. And the uh, I cut the journaling cards up. They were from the Happy Place paper. At the moment, you'll see two there. Um, As you can see I'm just opening the die cuts, getting my act together, looking for a couple of frames, starting to find a way to map my photographs. The These are a few of our favourite things card. I've got two sizes there you will have noticed. That's from the 6x8 pad and the 12x12 sheet. So this layout is coming together really quite quickly for me, deciding where I want everything. Obviously it needs a little bit of embellishing as I go along but uh, yeah, I think I'm quite happy with the way it all looks. I tend to work in a way where I lay everything down, mess about with it, make a, make a few decisions, and then um, it takes me a while to commit to actually sticking anything down. So I've decided on the smaller card there in the centre for my title, and I've matted it on some yellow just to uh, break it up a bit. So. This rainbow, this little one that you see me um, holding, came with the edging around it in the die cut pack. I thought this would be an ideal piece to use to make a shaker box. So the sequins, as you see on the picture that just um, come into camera, are actually in this range. So I know that the colours are going to be perfect. So it seems ideal match really to use those sequins. So I'm going to use that rainbow waist there. Um, I'm just making a, a mount for it. I'm trying to figure out where to put it. So I'm going to mount it on a little bit of paper from the 6x8 pad to make it just a little bit of a bigger box. I don't know whether you've made shaker boxes before, but they don't need to be very big or very tall if you're thinking about getting them in the page protectors. But it does add a little bit of sparkle and a bit of movement. In my right hand there I've got a piece of acetate, I'm just trimming that down to go um, to create the window at the front of the pocket, obviously so you can see the contents inside. I'm going to get some tape and start to stick my layers, layers together. This paper goes behind the rainbow but you will probably never see it when it's all put together. Just making sure it all works. I love this red line tape, I use a lot of it. Um, once you stick it down you know it's never going to move. A bit fiddly to get the top the top off it. It's a bit always got a bit of static, but um, end up with bits and pieces of it stuck all over my desk. So I'm adding the acetate window. And then I'll add it to the top layer. So saying this is a quick layout and it came together easily, it, this did take a little bit of time for me to make. I'm not the fastest of scrapbookers. I actually quite like the process, so I'm not too worried in the sense um, how long it takes me to do it. I don't know whether you know, but I actually um, I'm a project lifer. So for over ten years now, I've been recording my family's life 
uh, within the Project Life format. This gives me a freedom um, to scrapbook anything I like. So sometimes I scrap photos more than once. I certainly don't scrap anything in any sort of order apart from my Project Life. So when I see a range like this, it makes I, I just makes me think: What photos do we have? Doesn't matter what year um, or what what gaps there are in their al my albums, because there will be gaps in my scrapbooking albums because that doesn't concern me at all because I know that Project Life has already got it covered. So here I am going back to the shaker box, just building a wall around the edge uh, with some raised foam pads. So this is going to stop my sequins falling out. Some really nice colour choices have done a really good job matching these to the paper. I'm just picking a few just to add some movement to this. That looks like plenty, but I get carried away sometimes. Now I'm taking the tops off the foam pads and then I'll literally stick the lid on it to close it as a box. Here we go, one little shaker box. Sometimes you find a few of the sequins stick to the foam tape round the sides, but if there's plenty in it, they'll all keep moving around when you move the layout. I'm having a little tidy up. If you could see my desk, you'd be probably horrified. Um, so I'm just coming back in now and making some final adjustments, matting my photographs, making a final decision on the embellishments to go with them. And I decide I'd like to embellish the rainbow uh, journaling card on the right hand side. So back out with the sequins and I start picking through them, looking at some colours that would match this card. They do a piece of 12 by 12 paper that matches this rainbow and I haven't actually used it yet. It's so gorgeous. Um, in fact, this whole range is. It's not very often I, I actually get the whole of a collection and for this uh, Coco Vanilla Studio Daydream, I certainly did. Hame Little Magpie stocks all of it, um, so it's a perfect place to go to get all your supplies. And here I am messing around still, picking and choosing some sequins. I'm now thinking about how to space them. Those hearts on that layer of the rainbow are beautiful. So I'm now thinking I could put the sequins between them. It is scary watching back how your mind works when you scrapbook. But uh, I know that once I've stuck them down, if they're not um, evenly spaced, it will probably annoy me, or at least to start with. So even though I've used sequins on uh, two of the rainbows on this layout, there's still lots on my desk there um, to be used on other layouts with this range. So plenty in the uh, bag. Just the last few colours to find. and I'm messing with my spacing again. So the photos on this layout, I've written a few of my favourite things. 
Um, it's been a very odd summer for us all, hasn't it? Uh, so these are things that have been connected with um, some simple pleasures, eating ice cream, exploring together, uh, just having a bit of fun. I'm now sticking that journaling card back down. When I, when I get to show you the close-ups, I've actually used some sewing, a French knot in each sequin, just to hold them down. Uh, using threads in very similar colours to the paper range, so you can barely see them. But uh, I did that off camera because you really don't want to sit through that. So the final bits now are getting taped down. Uh, this little puffy heart, I don't think it looks as bright as this in real life. Um, but I love the feel of it anyway, so it's um, staying put. Just a few labels, flowers, just to... I like to stick something to everything. That's one of my project life um, mantras, really. Every uh, square in project life has something, even if it's a little sticker, and it seems to follow through in the rest of my scrapbooking. So here I am, literally, the last few bits, just checking the sticker sheet, seeing if there's anything else, any words, any bits that I really would like to add in. I'm thinking, does that rainbow card need something? So I've die cut a, a couple of clouds, see if they fit there with the sun. And in the end, I think one of the clouds on a bit of foam makes the cut. Looks like it's raining down on that rainbow. And there we are, the finished layout. Here's just a few close-ups. You can see the stitching a little. And there's the shaker box. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm a newbie at this, so um, any constructive uh, comments would be much appreciated. Thank you.